Biodiversity and Conservation Session 3. In this module, we will be learning about the loss of biodiversity, a rough analysis of the threatened and extinct species on the biosphere. Due to human activities, there has been a rapid decline of the biological resources and the colonization in the Pacific Islands by humans has led to the extinction of about 2,000 species of native birds in that island. More than 15,500 species are facing the threat of extinction worldwide. At present, 12% of birds, 23% of mammals, 32% of amphibians and 31% of gymnosperms face the threat of extinction. The IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature, has given out the red list, that is a list of threatened species. And this was published in 2004 and it gives the extinction of 784 species including 338 vertebrates, 359 invertebrates and 87 plants in the last 500 years. Some latest examples of recent extinctions are Dodo in Mauritius, Quagga in Africa, Thylacin in Australia, Stella sea cow in Russia and three subspecies Bali, Jawan and Caspian of tigers. The last 20 years alone has witnessed the disappearance of 27 species and careful analysis of records shows that amphibians are more vulnerable to extinctions. These are the pictures of Dodo, Quagga, Stella sea cow and Thylacin, the recently extincted animals. Mars extinction is the widespread or rapid decrease in the biodiversity on Earth and it occurs when the rate of extinction increases with the rate of speciation. And due to this mass extinction, there has been a decline or extinction of large number of species on this Earth. And since the origin and diversification of life on Earth, there has occurred five episodes of mass extinction of species, which are end Ordovician, or it is called as Ordovician Silurian extinction, which occurred in the Ordovician period, that is 455 to 413 million years ago. The second mass extinction is late Devonian, which occurred during the late Devonian extinction, and it occurred approximately 419 to 358 million years ago. This is followed by the end Permian extinction, which occurred approximately 252 million years ago, and the end Permian was followed by the fourth mass extinction and Triassic, which occurred 201 million years ago. And the fifth mass extinction is the end Cretaceous, which occurred 66 million years ago. At present, the sixth edition is in progress, which is different from the previous five episodes. The current species extinction rates are to 100 to 1000 times faster than in the pre-human times, and human activities are surely responsible for the faster rates. And the ecologists warn that if the present trend continues, nearly half of all the species on Earth might be wiped out within the next 100 years after the sixth extinction, mass extinction. What are the effects of these mass extinctions or biodiversity loss? First is it brings about a decline in plant production. It lowers the resistance to environmental perturbations such as drought. That is, it is not able to resist the environmental disturbances like drought and increased variability in certain ecosystem processes such as plant productivity, water use, pest and disease cycle. All these have undergone variation in different ecosystems. And due to this biodiversity loss, the present day environment is completely changed because we know all species are interdependent on each other. The existence of one species in a community is completely dependent on other species. So 
there should be an interaction between all the living components in this biosphere only then there will be sustainable existence of the ecosystem so dear children in this module we learned about the analysis of the loss of biodiversity and the effects of biodiversity loss thank you